So one goal I have this summer is to be able to differentiate cubes based on the look of the side alone, not the logo. Obviously, if you see a Diane logo, like, of course, you know it's a Diane cube. Now, of course, there is a question of, well, if you see two different Diane cubes, where's my other one? My other one's here. Then, okay, there's a slight difference, but come on, we, we know that's a Tegan V1, we know that's a Tegan Plus, like the color of the internals is different, that, that's easy. We, we want to be able to, I want to be able to tell the difference just by the look of any side regardless of the logo, just know exactly what 2x2 two two it is instantly. And this is a useful skill at my stalls when somebody shows me a cube and it's like, well, yeah, that's that cube. And sometimes I can do this, but I want to be able to do it all the time. So, let's have a look. This is the first row of 2x2s. Two so, just the yellow side. Um, I've got other 2x2s. Two I can't see the logo here. So, we've got the mail on, that can be told easily by just the different shade. The shade's slightly different. It doesn't come up as easily on here, on the camera, but that's pretty easy. Um, let's get an MGC V1 as well here, so we can see the MGC V1 also has quite a different shade, so that should be pretty easy to tell apart. But then you can see the large screw um, on the MGC2 Elite. It's a lot shinier as well here. Um, right, here we have a Chi MS, pretty obvious, really. Um, that's a pretty easy one. And here we have a WAPO WRS. We can tell that very easily just by, there is a bit of a weird center design that's quite distinct, quite quite distinctive in the WAPO WRS. Now, of course, there's a few black ones, ones with black internals, and these are just the relevant two by twos. So we can see here, we have these three with black internals. The um, Diantanium Plus has the largest screws. That's quite obvious, quite distinctive. Also slightly different shade of yellow, um, but I shouldn't be telling by the shade of yellow just because that might not be the same with the other colours. So if somebody showed me just the orange side, for example, like I've got to still know, um, even if it's a bit closer and more likely for me to see the logo here. Um, so this is my sample X-Man Flare. You can see the screws are slightly larger than the Diane Shake Solar S2M. Um, that's it really. I mean, this X-Man Flare sample has got been slightly defective, but I shouldn't use that as a determining factor at all. Uh, we can ignore this, the carbon fiber, main on carbon fiber two by two. So now we get into slightly more difficult stuff to tell apart. We've got the two GAN ones. I mean, that's pretty easy. Um, one is a bit smoother, you can see there is a slight difference in the texture. You can see, I mean, I don't think you can really pick it up on camera. Well, maybe you can if you just get the light in the right angle. You can see it's more obvious on the UV coated side. It's more reflective of light, maybe. I don't know if that really comes up. But yeah, the UV coating is pretty obvious. And then CAD 251M Pro here. Uh, final ones. So, Quite a large screw on the UPO V2M here. Um, it just looks a bit different, a bit, I don't know, more rusted, sounds a bit, well, I mean, I can't do it by sound, so ignore, ignore anything I say about sound. Right, and this is the Yushin Little Magic V2M. I, it's really hard to explain how I know that, but it just is. Um, Right, and which way round it is? The larger screws is the Diantanian V1. Yes, yes, good. Larger screws is the Diantanian V1. Surprising how similar, the most difficult one for me to tell apart is the RS2M versus the Diantanian V1. RS2 Evolution, despite them being made by different brands. Right, so my next goal is 
just a photo of a random side of the cube, is that going to be enough for me to tell the difference? Just a photo in a random order? Well, I'm going to have to find out. Okay, so am I ready to differentiate these? Do make things complicated. Right, Daniel, yes. Let's. Do I have to start it myself? almost 100% on um, the 2x2 two two quiz. I think I'll do it one more time and uh, try and get 100%. Um, MGC Elite. Yep. GAN 251M Elite. No, it's GAN 251M Pro. Okay. Mm, X Man Flare. Yep, X Man Flare. I mean, to be fair, I kind of cheated with that because of the corner there, but I think that's obviously fine. GMS. Yep, obviously. Uh, Mail on. Uh, UPO V2M. Yep. Well, just saw the side, but Dynashex LS 2M, obvious. Usual magic B1M. Yep. RS2 evolution. Uh, MGC V1. Yes. GAN 251M Leap UV. Pretty obvious. I don't know how I failed that earlier. Right. Okay. That is a. Dian Chengyun V2 
V1. Go. Wait for WRS, obvious. And finally, final one in my bag. Dintangian Plus. Right, so I think I can confidently uh, differentiate all of my 2x2s just by looking at any side. Doesn't matter whether it's got a logo on or not. Um, so yeah, that's definitely helpful. Now, I guess for harder things like 3x3s eventually, I think I'll move on to Pyramixes, Scubes, Big Cubes. Um, just to make sure I know exactly how to tell all these cubes apart just instantly without any trouble. Uh, thanks for watching. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. Suggest anything else to um, make videos about.